Afghans have been warned they must evacuate Kabul airport after a second bomb attack has been confirmed. An explosion in A suspected suicide attack outside Kabul airport at the Abbey Gate has killed at least 13 people, including children, and wounded many Taliban guards. A Taliban official said. Security expert Professor Anthony Glees has said Afghans are sitting ducks outside of the airport. While a second bomb was detonated outside the Baron Hotel where UK troops have been based. Speaking to Sky News, Professor Glees said, the Taliban have to make safe the departure of our people, the NATO people. It may mean sending people back into Afghanistan. President Biden will need to be persuaded but clearly they're sitting ducks at the moment and that is not acceptable. And will not be acceptable to the British public. Turkey's defense ministry said on Thursday that two separate explosions occurred. Outside Kabul airport, adding there was no damage to Turkish units in the area. Larissa Brown, the defense editor of The Times, has confirmed there are no UK casualties. She said, confirmed no UK casualties in attack at Abbey Gate near the Baron Hotel. In an update on Twitter, US Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said the explosion resulted in an unknown number of casualties. He said, we can confirm that the explosion near the Abbey Gate of the Kabul airport has resulted in an unknown number of casualties. We will continue to update. Boris Johnson will chair an emergency response meeting later on Thursday on the situation in Kabul. After an explosion outside the city's airport, his office said. The Prime Minister has been updated on the situation at the airport in Kabul and will chair a COBR later this afternoon, a number 10 spokesperson said. French President Emmanuel Macron has said he will coordinate with our American allies in response to the explosions outside Kabul airport. Speaking in French on a bilateral visit to Dublin. He said, as we speak in front of you, the situation is worsening around the military airport. We are being confronted with a very tense situation. Which leads us to co-ordinate with our American allies. We will also closely co-ordinate on the issues to be dealt with in the near future. Military co-operation, migration issues and co-operate with the UN Security Council, because in the coming days and weeks, we will have to define the course of the mandate of the United Nations. The coming hours will remain extremely dangerous in Kabul and around the airport. President Macron added, nobody expected such a rapid and brutal situation in Kabul. President Biden confirmed to us during the G7 that he will leave the military airport and stop its operations with Afghanistan. I think de facto all of us are put in a position where we cannot protect all the Afghan people we wanted to protect. Now it is our responsibility to build additional solutions to protect them during the coming weeks and months.